Today in my space program we'll take some tourists into space on a suborbital flight to get some sweet sweet money. Let's get into it. Let's go to the crazy place they call the vehicle assembly building. We can toss this thing in the trash with the pilot inside. Actually, no. Let's go to do some science in the research and development unit. We have 56 sciences to spend. The science junior is good at the start as you can get more valuable science with it. And the set Stay Putnik is also fun, mostly because of the name, other than that I find it a useless garbage. There's the crew capsule, so I need that. I don't, what's this pressurized? And I cannot afford the technology yet. It's funny how they manage to simulate real life problems like the lack of money. Okay, lessons learned from the previous flight. Mystery goo. Let's add some goo. While we add it, let's slap some thermometers there. And some barometers. Now it looks like a piece of garbage, so it's perfect. Let's find the parachute. I think we needed to slap these. No, I didn't activate the mission yet. Let's go with the regular parachute. I have all the science I need. And we find the decoupler. Fuel tank. I'm curious if I can put two crew capsules there. No, I'm just gonna make a flight to... to uh, suborbital flight and take all the science again and then go buy some parts. So... That one we already have. Let's point the engines and... Let's put this swivel engine there. And then we need another decoupler, tank, 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 and the uh, Reliant have a gimbal in it. It doesn't. I'm gonna go with the swivel lens. Then I would like some separators, which I probably haven't been shopping around for. Do I have the tourists here? Yeah, I do. That is as stupid that it actually might work. Let's go with that. That is ugly. Science cannot progress without making some corpses. I'm pretty sure it will burn in the atmosphere, but that's a problem for another day. Then we go here to shop for some tourists. Marim can get in, in my untitled spacecraft. Now we have the tourist. SAS staging throttle and they are in technically working capsule. I just hope they don't push any buttons. 
usually you need another container for the tourists so they don't have access to interesting switches that look like candy. Different stages. There we go, we're gonna make it at least one way. Do I have some science here together? I think I have already gathered that science, but we have double the instruments, so it doesn't really matter. So let's keep going. Let's wait until we hit the 70 and then we can make crew report and gather more science. So now we're in space, we can observe some goo and take some delight for more data. Keep experiment. And I can't recall whether I did the crew report, so let's do the crew report. While we're here, we can dump the stage. Point our bum to where we're going, which is roughly that way. Except I'm right at the peak of the trajectory, so I'm gonna go pretty much that way soon. We can skip ahead. And now we're back in the atmosphere. Here comes the deadlier part with the heat and whatnot. Careful with the time acceleration so it doesn't eat my craft. Physics ac acceleration is always kind of tricky. We're slowing down quite nicely. There we go. You can open the parachute. Should slow us down a bit and open properly when we get closer to the ground. Okay, so my heat shield exploded, but I made it. Let's recover the vessel. We got, uh, got some science, now we have 100. We recovered quite a lot of parts and our tourist had experience. Now we can go shopping for parts. I want that uh, crew cabin. And a radial decoupler. Let's save our science for later. Let's check what missions we have avail available. We have these ones which we already took. We still need to take two tourists to suborbital trajectory, so let's do that now. This craft worked quite well, but now we can replace this cabin with the crew capsule. 
here. And this one also has the heat shield attached, which will probably explode again. But now we can add small landing struts. Let's put three is the most stable configuration here, so let's put those. And we want to start with those redacted, and now we have two empty seats, so we can put both of the tourists there. And we fly this manually, We I think we can get the engineer some flight experience. Let's fly our untitled spacecraft, take some tourists to the space and give them some good experiences. This amount of fuel was just barely enough to get us to space, but I think I'm gonna add one more tank here. There we go. And we can put two of these things. And let's check the staging. We want the main engine to go with those. We have the stack separator and the second stage engine at the same same stage. Then we have the separator and the parachute on its separate separate staging. That is unreasonably tall tower to launch a tiny rocket. So all what is our mission now is to make a suborbital flight with this craft. But I think our landing gear was in button G. Yes. Our staging was correct. Let's activate the SAS. Except as now as we don't have a pilot, we don't have SAS. So we have to fly this craft manually. Let's give it some throttle and launch. And we try to keep the craft going straight. If we try to keep it going straight. Failure is always an option. And in this game it's a rather good and usual option. It's surprisingly hard to balance. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I miss my pilot already. I'm having some issues, so I'm gonna just cut my engine and let's see where we're going. We definitely need need to gain control of this craft. Let's not go that way, let's go that way, kind of. And we flamed out. And we're definitely not going to make the space, so let's revert the flight and go to vehicle assembly. And admit our mistake, and let's not give, put the engineer in there, as we engineers are like that. And let's launch the vehicle with an actual pilot.
like we saw our staging was correct. Now we have SAS as we have pilot on board and we can add push the travel to the max and up we go. This thing is much easier now. Seriously, Valentine, what the? What's up with you? No, she's coming down, or whatever she's going through. Better. So we're first stage is almost out of fuel. Let's wait for it to run out and then we stage. Yep. And the travel continues. Our apoapsis should go, go about 70 to fulfill the mission. There we go. Quite nicely. We go almost to 90 kilometers. Still having some air breaking in the upper atmosphere, and we could actually move the engine behind. We have heat shield there. And while we're carrying these goo canisters, might as well gather the tiny bit of science we can get. Does crew report have any value? No. I think I'm gonna try EVA with Valentina and get some EVA report from space. So I'm gonna just hit quick save here and EVA. EVA. Oh, I need to upgrade my astronaut complex for EVA. Doo doo. So, no science this mission. And we're getting back. Let's point the bum to the retrograde. And let's hope our heat shield and landing struts don't explode. Because why not? Everything just explodes. Try to steer it right there. No, don't you dare to flip on me. Let's activate them. Parachute. There we go. And while we still remember, let's toggle the gear to give the tourists a li little more pleasant landing because last time we landed the heat shield exploded there is our shadow parachute opened and we're actually I think we're having really gentle landing. There we go. Our landing legs exploded, so... Always a good space mission when somebody or something explodes. I still haven't managed to get any of the gerbils to explode. Not sure if it's possible. I think if you accelerate the kerbals enough and make them hit the ground or something, they will just go up in poof, but they don't explode. 
So we got 38 science. Most of the parts back. And experience points for the tourists. So now we should have... Yeah, we completed the test. So we have a bunch of space money available again. I think this concludes my gaming session for today and I shall try to edit this down for some sort of neater cut for YouTube. So if you feel like watching me <coughs> play the Kerbal Space Program in career mode there, you can find me from YouTube with the same nickname as I have here, Nerdaxic. Anyway, you can always follow me on Twitch and I thanks for watching.